This thing's so damn big, no clue if it's actually gonna fit on the mill. It won't move? Yeah, hold on. This winter we picked up some monster oak logs. And now it's summer, so it's time to mill it. <laughs> so like I said, this is a big old oak tree, and this is actually the smallest part. This is gonna be the crotch of the tree. We're looking at a 46 inch round. That's about 44 in this direction. Don't love sawing oak, but a tree this big, we just can't let it die, right? This is where the crotch is. And this sucker, 65 and a half inches wide across the crotch, and our max cut here is 70, which means we have a very high percentage of getting squirrely. I already cut the cap off of it. I'm gonna take another two slabs because it's super heavy. Then we'll flip this sucker over and really start getting into the crotch wood. But first, my mill hat. Let's get squirrely. Let's flip some of these over and check them out. It cuts so clean. I don't even know where the hell the first slab starts. <laughs> but it, the texture's long. This tree's pretty fresh. All right, just a little guy. Oh, dude. Just a little bark. Pretty cool inclusion, especially for some oak. Okay, ready? Oh, what do we say around here, Sam? Saw logs, smoke hogs, yes, but we also say, Komodo's got the buckets, but I got the hose. Wow, that's great. Get that dust off there. I mean, it's a pretty looking oak log. Are you feeling better about that day that we spent standing in the snow talking about dungeons? The thousands of dollars I spent standing in the snow for a day to get this log out and then everyone be like, it's oak, why would you care? And I was like, well, I like to save the wood. Yeah, I feel better. Good. That looks like it grew around a tree. So that was a limb that the tree then grew around. That's Neat. Different. I mean, I wouldn't hate being known as the about, king of crotch. What about crotch king? <laughs> why, why don't you like the king of crotch? Let it slide. There you go. Fingers, one, two, three. She's a stinky one, but that's a pretty ass crotch. See if we can get a few more before we try to flip or before that comes in, where'd that come from? Which means there's a 100% chance of it potentially raining. Yeah, she's going dark. Probably got like 10 minutes. So we do have the rest of this log to do, so I'm just gonna finish cutting through this sucker. I can get it stickered, and then we'll get onto the 10,000 pound piece of this damn tree. <laughs> the next day. Saw some logs and we're smoking hogs today. Let's go! My first time smoking on this thing. It's just a good old fashioned spare rib with a little SPG. Spritzing it, get the cover back on, get another 30, 30 or minutes or so, and then we'll wrap them. Just sawing logs, smoking hogs. We want it to fall off a little bit, right? Yeah, like a safety. Okay. And then you only need a little bit of slack here, right? Yeah. That might work. Oh! Yes! <laughs> that is a huge log. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna move that one. <laughs> yeah, start small, get your bearings. And then go into the big stuff, that's what they say. Just love how shitty all, of, it just smells like straight poop. The topsoil just, just smells like someone took a dump out here. This is uh, what we call raking the log. It's a new technique. Not many use it in the logging industry, except us. When you use asphalt millings, they melt to your log. So that's what we're dealing with here. Good pace. It's a good, yeah, it's good for the bark. 
I believe it's a red oak, but it might be a black oak. I don't know. If you think it's black oak, let me know. We've got a width of 44 inches, and this log itself is 103 inches long. According to the Doyle log rule calculator, we've got 850 board feet of log here. We should be able to get some pretty nice slabs. I'm super curious with the cracks that are already in it, what those uh, center cuts are gonna look like. We're probably gonna take three or four off the top and then lighten the load on this thing before we flip it. But I'll let Jason make that call considering I'm not driving the skid today. <laughs> are we ready to cut the cap, boys? Throw your back out, be a man. Also, check your meat. <laughs> yeah, we gotta flip it so we can stack them. Hmm? You wanna get your first log wet? Cremona's got the buckets, but we got the what? The hose! Well, I mean, we all hate red oak as woodworkers, but this is some good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the smell, it's beautiful. It's just such an, it's just a good, good tree. Yeah. Timber. Ready? Watch your hands. Cut two more, and then we'll uh, try to flip the log. I'll wrap our ribs while you flip the log. <laughs> Priorities, motherfucker. No. You know me, I'm the guy that just works. You just want to get it done. <laughs> Watch your hands. One, two, three. Yeah, I want to squirt my hose. Wait for our dancing panda to get off. Has anyone ever told you that, Jason? You resemble a dancing panda. You ever watch a panda attack some eucalyptus? It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> beautiful thing. I mean, I, I guess this is what I was expecting, but that's a good looking freaking log. Yeah. No, and ready, watch your fingers. Yep. One, two, three. Give that one a squirt. Hey, that was, the wedge has helped a little bit. Did they? First off, we're on Hunter. We'll find out if that breaker starts tripping inside, we'll bump it up. Cause they got 125s on the fuses. You know what I mean? Even though they said 70. 30 amps. Yeah. Will you tension this to see how much tension affects your current? Okay. Well, uh, we got to stack this, Jason, so we can flip it. Where do you want to put it? So we got a third of the tree done. You can't forget the second part of this business model, though. It's saw logs and smoke hogs. So we got to wrap these ribs. A little bit, a little bit crispy. That'll be all right. So I create a little bit of a slather with some barbecue sauce and some apple cider vinegar, not red wine vinegar. The hell, we, they're not fancy. A lot of the pit masters will use squeeze butter, which is like the worst shit in the planet for you. But I like to add a little bit of butter and I didn't have real butter because we're fricking at the shop. A little bit of slather on the bottom. And then the tightness of your wrap, in my experience, will dictate how hard these suckers steam. Meat side down, back on. It is 11.30, we'll be eating at one. Let's rip through this other half. This is going beautifully right now, and I can't wait for something catastrophic to happen because we know it's coming.
learning on this sucker. We have the clamp on the wire. We're trying to see how much amperage it pulls because it's we can hear it coming down and we're, just to like tune the machine up. We're taking amperage readings and then adding wedges. We're also gonna add some tension to the chains and then also the speed and feed of the blade itself. Just try to be as efficient as possible so we know like how to optimize the machine. These oak logs are super heavy so we're getting a lot of pinch on the blade. Made a few little adjustments there but she's cutting great, I gotta say. Right the cover back. popped off. Like the Interesting. Is it important? That's probably why. Is it important? It's just a cover, but it probably it's a cover because there's a bearing in there to keep the bearing from getting dirty. How do I fix it? I'm trying to make that look hard. Boom. Roasted. I need some grease. Honors. Like all this stuff, these next two will be quarter sawn. I'll be interested to see how many amps it pulls. It was pulling 88 on the last cut, you said? Yeah, that's pretty high. 88.3 high. That's as low as it goes. Yeah, that's why we need to bunk it up. Check my meat. Check to check, it's a little cold. Almost done. We get these logs unstacked, they should be ready. That's a big tree. All right, we're done. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't be a bitch your whole life. Good and... Yeah, they look pretty good. I said they're actually overcooked. Yeah, we'll all eat them. That if today was to be in the record books, the record would be rewritten. We sawed logs, we smoked hog. Yeah, they're a little overdone. New cooker. And I was actually literally working. Now I just got the heaviest one at Giant Eagle and obviously Giant Eagle's not gonna have the best ribs. And I was just like, oh, get the heavy one. Um, pretty solid smoke. We're good. Nice and tangy, Texas flavor. Lunchtime of Get in my belly! Come on! A few moments later. We're gonna attempt to get this thing closer to the mill. To get it here, we had to call our neighbor with a front loader. This weighs every bit of 10,000 pounds. We'll see if the Bobcat can drag it out, get it over. I don't know, we'll find out. Watch it push this shit over the hill. We would just have to go down and chain it and drag it back up. I don't think we can get a helicopter, yeah. That'd be the biggest waste of money. Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm just watching it, it's just gonna start going right at my truck. <laughs> it's like run blocking with a skid steer. Just keep pushing. I can't wait for it to just like destroy everything we got up here. This is a sport I never knew we'd want to play. This is so ridiculous. I can't believe like, you just think it's pick a log up, put a log down, but a lot more goes into moving the logs than actually cutting the logs. 
Well, that's been a journey. This thing's so damn big, I actually have no clue if it's actually gonna fit on the mill. You don't know until you try. Grab your nuts, squeeze your butts. It won't move? What do you wanna do? the problem. How are we going to cut it this way? <laughs> come look at it from here. It's up to my, I'm tits deep in this thing. It's almost as tall as me down here. Oh my God. This thing is huge. 62 on this end. It's 128 inches. So right, right under 11 feet. This is a monster tree. This is why we got the big mill. Hopefully we can cut it. So we've moved the log so we can try to cut the widest side as a slab here to here. All the pressure's on this wedge, so I'm gonna smack it out. Jason's gonna lower it with the chain. Should allow it to roll into the bunk. Everything could go terribly and it could end up smacking into the building. Oh shit. <laughs> that kind of worked. It's a better than the. Yeah. Power. and say this is the biggest oak tree in Pennsylvania. If you got a bigger one, bring it by. We'll cut that sucker up. The next morning. We don't got any hogs today, but we're gonna saw some logs. New bunks are in. We already broke one. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. These are getting the log up a little bit, which should allow us to not have the last slab be like six inches. And they're just a lot more sturdy. Woo, she purred. This tree is so damn big. Everything's like up at your chest. <laughs> like power cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just without the momentum. <laughs> or being able to use your legs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come on. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Uh, I don't even think he knows how to turn it on. Wait. Oh, no. We have to cut more, John. Go us. <laughs> All right. I hope these are good. We've got a piece of metal we found and we're getting a little bit of the center rot. A little mush, mush katootie in there. And they caught this tree right before it was gonna start to really go, because this is the base. If that was rotting, you know, it's gonna start creeping up and that thing would have killed like at least 12 people. I guess, God, they're getting so low too. <laughs> God. Oh. All right, flip it over. Ready, one, two. What a shame. When you, they didn't say when you were buying your bandsaw that you had to be a, a man bear pig. That should definitely be in like their brochure. Oh. Elbow. This is only half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this slab here is 58 fucking inches wide. <laughs> we have logs over there that are smaller than this half. <laughs> Get rid of those. We only do the biggest <laughs> logs. Ready? One. Nice.
Ease her down, ready? And drop. Might be our best slab. Out of the tree. Pinner. One. Ready? Answer, not ready. <laughs> not ready. Now what's funny is those slabs go on top of this slab. So we could probably just stick her and flip right over here. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Bling. Daddy's still got it. There it is. There it is. Sometimes you just gotta bust out the old quad stop. Don't worry, that'll be black and blue tomorrow. This is just gonna keep the sun off of her. So old daddy -o over here has got the rest of the logs stacked. We got it stickered. We're putting her to where she's gonna to start to air dry. And that's gonna be a wrap on what we're calling the biggest oak in Pennsylvania. If you've got a bigger one and you want us to mill it, bring her on down. And then go check out this playlist because it's epic. See ya.